Hello student, today I am going to discuss uh, May June 2015 3-1 that wave authoring part. So according to your question paper that um, uh, create a new folder called this one and you have to copy all the files, sub files or data files um, in this folder. Open the file evidence.rtf, make sure uh, your center number and candidate number will appear on every page. So uh, first you have to make the open the evidence document. This is your evidence. Then in the header, in the header, in the second option of the header, you will choose second option of the header. And here you have to write your name, center number. This is SA139 for boys and candidate number, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you have to save it as a Microsoft Word document. Save as. Um, from, the from the question paper, if, if you see, they're asking uh, your file name will be J5 evidence followed by your candidate number. Okay. So it will be in the same folder followed by your candidate number. Okay. Now minimize this evidence document. Now, next part of this question, what they're asking to do, create a web page called J153 on home.htm. And the web page must work in all browser and will have a table structure as shown below. Each table uh, cell is identified with a letter and dimension. So dimension means width and height is given. Now, first you have to check how many column is there. So one, two, three column and how many rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows. So you have to create, uh, first you have to open one web page, open front page, close everything file new blank page and what will be the name of the your front page according to your question paper front page name j1531home.htm so right click save j1531home and then click save j1531 no right so what is your file name j1531 home so you have to save it where in desktop sorry desktop in 31 uh, home now you have to save it in your folder done now you have to create one table with three columns seven rows right so table insert so row will be seven six seven and column will be three okay after that you have to design your table according to the structure of the table so first row is merge right click then merge then second one up to second column merge right click merge and whatever the remaining part remaining part will be as, as like same thing and only m the last column from the second row it will be merge right click merge okay now one important part when you mention the dimension of the table or all the cell first you have to mention the dimension of the table width so what will be the table width by checking this uh, figure you can uh, you can get it easily that table width will be the maximum value of the width so maximum value uh, of the width is this one 400 so once you suppose uh, once you mention the table width okay in um, a table width and some cell is belongs to that width that time no need to change the cell width of that particular cell i am repeating once you change the table width suppose i change the table width maximum value is this one and if some cell width is like that that time in that particular cell no need to change the width just you have to change the height so first we have to mention right click table width table properties uh, it will be with specific width in pixel right because in the question paper they mention it will be r in pixel right so this one will be 400 so this one will be in pixel 400 apply okay now we have to deal with other cell because no cell is like that 
now first cell is what will be the uh, what i told you earlier cell properties we have to change that in this case no need to change the width just you have to change the height because width already it is defined that in the table width is 400 table width is 400 even the cell width also 400 so once we uh, change the table width that time no need to change the cell width if the cell width is same so height will be 80 in percentage in pixel 80 okay now next one 380 so right click cell properties specific width specific height it should be 300 it should be 80 apply okay next all cell here uh, 100 100 so change each one of the, each and every one cell properties specific width specific height it is 100 and this one also be 100 apply okay now check the question paper again all are 100 100 right yes this one right click cell properties uh, this one uh, this one next one cell properties specific with specific height it will be 100 and it will be 100 also apply okay right click cell properties specific with specific height it will be 100 it will be 100 apply okay now same process here right click cell properties specific with specific height it will be 100 it will be 100 apply okay right click cell properties And next one what you have to do 200 100 so right click cell properties specific with specific height it will be 200 it will be 100 apply okay now check cell properties 200 100 So everything is look like Hundred five eighty. Okay, done. Now next part, what you have to do? Um, in the cell A, enter the text trism in the multiples. Copy this one, paste it here. Now next one, um, set it H one. So make it to H one heading one so next one uh, in the cell b edited by followed by your name center number candidate number so cell b is the next one edited by your name now center number sa 139 candidate number 1234 right and this one will be um h3 this one set, set to H3. Now, next part of this question is the most appropriate image J1531 underscore 1 dot JPG to uh, 8 place in the cell. C is image of island. D will be image of Maldivian hotels. C D. So, which one is the C D E F? First, you have to check C D E F. That is in the same column. So, first one will be what? What they are asking for? Uh, image of island. So, you click here then go to desktop it should be 3 1 inside 3 1 image of island next one maldivian hotels so maldivian hotels basically beside the c 
one here of C. Next one. Mm, then boat, clownfish, and sunset. So boat, this one, clownfish, and last one is sunset. Sunset, this one. Now check next part of this question. Make sure that each of the sense plays into 96 by 96 pixels. So if you check each and every image, mm, the, you have to change the pixel of the picture. So picture properties. Everything will be 90 by 96 by 96 except this one, the boat one. So click on boat one, right click and go to picture properties. It, it will be maintain the expect uh, what they are asking 96 by 96, right? So you have to unblock this one, keep exit ratio. So it will be 96. The next one will be 96. Okay, now it will be look like this. Now next part of this question. In cell H, enter the text which island? So you have to enter the uh, H, I, J, K, which island? You have to just copy, just it here. Next one is hotels. Oh, control C, control V. Next one transport transport next one marine life next one paradise farm Now um, set all the text is H2. So first make it H2. Everything should be under heading 2. This one also H2. 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 Heading 2. So not heading 1. It will be heading 2. Okay, done. Now next part. Place the cell. Uh, place in uh, in cell m uh, image uh, one five three on fish.jpg so keep your cursor pointer here so fish.jpg is this one it will be look like this now next one use the image of the uh, uh, island place in step seven and the text which island so here they mention and the text which island that means both you have to link right create a hyperlink of this one okay now first which island right click hyperlink and where you have to do hyperlinks in some web page to the web page so you have to click here what is the name of the web page 1531 island.htm so where it is given this one see the logo of the browser then what they are asking which will open a new window called uh, choose island so it will be target frame uh, this is island target frame mm, new window choose island okay 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 now right click over the picture hyperlink so island where is the island this one target trim new window this choose island okay okay done next one make sure each and every image appropriate alternative text attributes so first the text was about island right so right click picture properties um, general text will be island then this one is hotel so picture properties general text hotels okay then this one transport right click picture properties transport or boat right just write down boat text boat then marine life fish this is fish right what what is the name of the fish clownfish 
picture name you have to give so right click right click over the picture picture properties general select here C L O W N plum fish F I S H fish then sunset picture properties picture properties general text sunset okay done next one attach the style sheet uh, j1531 style.css so go to format style sheet link at desktop 31 style.css okay perfect now what you have to do display the web page in your uh, browser so what you can do what is the name of the web page home.htm first you save it first you save it then you will see star sign is not there control s home.htm so what you have to do minimize this part 3 1 right click open this one in google chrome okay now what you have to do um, according to the question paper enter this in your web browser save, save the page display the page, web page in your web browser in an evidence document replace the text image one and a screenshot of this uh, screenshot of the browser okay now first you have to take the screenshot print the screen go to your evidence document here image one control v select this one format crop it this one you need to crop okay. step 25 should be down 15 should be down so select this one in bigger way bigger format it will be look like this perfect okay this is the web browser uh, logo uh, is given here web browser logo even even web browser that it, it seems that you open this one in web browser right. now next part of this question display the web browser uh, this is done in evidence document replace the HTML here with the HTML source HTML source means what you have to do first you close the web browser close HTML source means the code generated that one so control a control C Control A means select all, Control C means copy, and here Control V, and you will get everything here. Okay, and you have to block some line which one is generated automatically. Like this one, we imported the style sheet, so you will give some uh, like shading. So examiner should understand easily this one also. Like this way, you will give the shading. Okay, what are the code generated? That one done. Now you have to do a remaining part also. So I am not doing now, you can do it easily. Now next part of this question, if I go over the questions, this, this is done. Open the file j1531 style2.css. Style2 you have to create, uh, style2.css, that means you have to make a style sheet. And what you have to do in this style sheet, the style sheet contain error, it, uh, it should define the following styles. All color codes are exactly decimal format. Now here, you have to go to front page close this part this part is done file open style 2 this one and it have some error so what you will do you will delete everything from here now we'll start from the beginning body background image will be bg.jpg so here you have to go to format style html tag it is given body modify format border background picture browse bg okay okay now next one h1 will be color will be this one uh, for red green blue first you have to check whether it is color mentioned like red green blue or not font is helvetica if it is not available then browser default font sans serif if it is not available it a leak is that means italic 30 pixel high align to center <coughs> So what you have to do, again you have to go to HTML tag, oh so first finish the 
sorry i did not press okay so you have to uh, go to format style then you have to click body modify border for for background picture browse this bg okay okay and okay done body part is over now next one h1 format html st style html tag h1 modify first you have to go to font because they discuss about the font first you have to mention color and this font name font name first you will choose anything anything after that you will mention manually okay and red uh, color code will be uh, font color code will be red 8b green 00 blue 00 so here just choose any color more color choose black 8b red will be red green blue so red is the first value belongs to red uh, it should be 8b uh, green 00 uh, blue 00 okay done then what they are asking um, italic it should be italic then 30 pixel high 30 px don't miss px 30 px sometime in question paper they will ask only 30 uh, sometimes they will ask 30 px so you have to mention 30 px and after that the alignment alignment is ba based on the paragraph alignment is what they are giving alignment is center so aligned will, will be center then press ok okay okay now after that what you have to do font family you have to change according to the question paper what will be the font family um, helvetica first one is helvetica this one comma then uh, arial comma then send serif s a n s s e r i f send serif okay so how many things they are asking for check one time one two three four five so now check whether the five thing is given or not five statement this is one statement two statement three four and five statement given now h2 format style html tag h2 modify and what are the thing they are asking the font is red green blue it should be red green blue they give in another way so it should be organized way first red will come then green will come then blue will come font is helvetica font arial and not available and font font thing is like same like h2 uh, then available browser default sensor font sensor uh, yeah done 20 pixel height align is center okay just check uh, this all are same so what you can do uh, first maximum uh, values are same first you have to go for one like h2 then font you will choose any font suppose i'm choosing this one then they're asking for um, red green blue so color font color more color so just check the red code so red green uh, red green blue h2 red is 19 so it will be um, choose any color it will be 19 green also 19 green also 19 red green blue blue 70 it will be 70 okay then press okay okay next one the font family and font size is 20 pixel 20 px font uh, L, uh, that alignment alignment bel belongs to where paragraph alignment is center right check alignment is center so which one is missing now here uh, which one i did not give missing means i did not give that uh, font name right then everything is given okay okay now is to bring it down Font family will be the same like earlier one. Control C. So total how many statement is given? This is one statement, two statement, three statement, four statement. Now check here. 
this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 right perfect now h3 you have to do make h3 to format style html tag h3 modify what are the thing they're asking for h3 green red green blue all are zero red green blue oh no blue is first red will come green will come blue will be 80 the browser default serif font now it is they are asking serif font 16 pixel height <coughs> okay one by one you have to do format font you just check anything color more color will be uh, red green blue so what they are asking for red is 0 green is 0 blue is 80 0 0 80 and then press ok next one the browser default serif font 16 pixel high so it will be 16 px align will be left ok paragraph alignment will be left ok no visible border or grid line then press ok ok now we, what you have to do we have to just we have to change this font it will be serif okay, done h3 is over now table will be no visible border or grid line so border is belongs to table and grid line belongs to td so what you have to do after that you have to write down table comma td then second bracket we will start from here it will be border clone zero close the second bracket right now check what they're asking correct the complete special all colors could now see this is in this style sheet must contain html tag add your name center number candidate number to the style sheet uh, contain no html tag that means uh, the style sheet should not be in the web page it should be in the uh, CSS file. Add your name, center number, candidate number uh, to the star sheet as a comments. Okay. So in the bottom part, what we can do, uh, we can give backslash star sign for what? For giving our name, center number, candidate number. So name, comma, center number, SA139, comma, candidate 1234, star, this one, star, backslash. Now next part. Save this style sheet in your uh, J513 folder and the file name will be st. So file save as desktop31. It should be st. Save. Done. Now next part. Oh, st it should be followed. If your candidate number is other than it will it can be uh it will call of the uh, call the file st 999.ss okay just you have to give candidate number with the st so there is a file name so you can do this one easily uh in your evidence document replace the text style uh, sheet here with the screenshot so you know how to do this one style sheet here with a screenshot of your style sheet so you will just take the screenshot of the style sheet but the screenshot should not be this much small so it should be big like here if I think about the style sheet screenshot, style sheet here, control V. Oh, delete this one and a screenshot of style sheet will be like print screen. Go to your evidence, control V, select this one. So if you this give this way, examiner will cut your full marks because it is not visible. You have to give it in this way so which one is visible properly so now make it big so it should be visible right otherwise you will not get mark now style sheet is done now next part of this question <laughs> You have to dis, uh, you have to attach the style sheet 
you have to attach this style sheet st with which one with your web page so open your web page file open side open mm, what is the name of our web page home so we have to attach the new style sheet what they are asking in your evidence document replace the text style here with the uh, screen sheet of your style sheet make sure that the file name and all the text are clearly visible attach the style sheet save in step 18 to your web page so that it over, um, overrides but does not replace the first style sheet okay now what you'll do first that means you have to delete the first style sheet so instead of link you'll just select this one remove add the second style sheet st okay now it will be look like this now what they're asking to do display the web page in your web browser so control s save it minimize this one minimize this one go to 3 on uh, 3 one folder so home open with google chrome so it will be look like this now you have to take the screenshot according to the question paper what they are asking display the web page in your web browser in your evidence, in your evidence document replace the text html2 here with the html source and document replace the text image to screenshot of the browser okay so you have to take the screenshot so print screen go to your evidence document image2 so make step 21 down image2 paste it here select this one you need to crop it Probably don't keep it like this way. This look odd. So you will do like this way. Now make it big. Step 22. Okay. Done. Next part of this question. So in your evidence document replace this uh, replace this text html2 uh, here with the html source that means you have to copy the code control a control c and you have to paste it in html2 page right click special print special this one so then what are the change happen you have to just mark it okay so now check anything left no nothing is left for this uh, may june 2015 3-1 thank you for watching hope you understood uh, if you don't understand please ask me in the uh, class